Hey, Carleton County business is getting attention for the bold message that they're pushing. CBS3's Quinn Gorham spoke with the owner of that local bar about what they're speaking out against. Rendezvous Sports Bar and Grill in Scanlon isn't shy about making their views known. Now it's the new t-shirt they're selling that's getting some attention. You know, we don't want to get fauci We don't want to get shut down. We don't want to have to wear masks. Ross Swanstrom, owner of the bar, says his Don't Fauci My Minnesota shirts are selling like crazy. In just three days, they've already sold more than 90. The response has been overwhelming and business was great before and it's even better now. Swanstrom claims Dr. Anthony Fauci's and other national health experts advice was a major reason behind mandates and restrictions on small businesses during the height of the pandemic. Many of those rules were implemented by governors across the nation. In Minnesota, bars and restaurants had to shut down for in-person dining for months. Swanstrom says that had a big impact on the industry, so he doesn't want to see it happen again as COVID cases are now rising across Minnesota. Minnesota's Department of Health says the best way to make sure it doesn't is to get vaccinated. First and foremost, it's very important to get vaccinated as soon as possible. This is the single most important thing you can do to protect your family, yourself, and your community from COVID-19. As another way to reduce the spread, the CDC recommends masks and social distancing in areas with increased transmission rates. That includes Carleton County, but Swanstrom just doesn't want to be told what to do. And he hopes these shirts will spread that message. We're pro-vax, go get a vax if you'd like. Wear a mask if you like. We don't want to be forced to do it. We don't want to be mandated. It's important to note that Minnesota Governor Tim Walz has ended his emergency powers, meaning businesses cannot be shut down without state Senate approval. You can find the most up-to-date information on the current COVID guidelines on the CDC website.